Joe Manchin running for president. Can you? <laughs> and he'd be running as a third party candidate. And the Democrats are like, no, can't happen. No way, no how, because you see, that would really cut into Biden and therefore help Trump. And they're not willing to let Trump win at all. So here's the headline in the Wall Street Journal today. Will Joe Manchin run for president? So that the big news is, right, he's not going to run for Senate again. This is the senator from West Virginia. He's really been known for being a centrist. He he cares about the coal miners, for example, right? But he's still a Democrat. So he's kind of, you know, he is a centrist. I would say of all the Democrats out there, like he's one of the, the ones that makes the most sense, if that can be. And so consequently, I think a lot of Democrats who are looking at Joe Biden and they're looking at Kamala Harris and they're looking at how miserable a situation we're in right now, whether it be the border, whether it be what's going on internationally, whether it be our economy with inflation this bad, they're saying, okay, do we have an alternative? Maybe that alternative's RFK or maybe that alternative is Joe Manchin. And so consequently, this is the piece. Centrist decision to not seek Senate re-election serves speculation of a presidential bid as groups like No Labels, which he's been affiliated with for years, seek alternatives to Biden and Trump. This is the headline in today's journal. So immediately everybody's going there. Could Joe Manchin run for president? And if he does, not good news for the Democrats. Not good news at all because, well, that would cost Joe a few votes. If, in fact, he even makes it. If he makes it to 24. I mean, I, I, I say that sincerely. I, I think he's got a lot of problems. Uh, you know, he's got his son, for example, on this question of where's, where's the money? money? I'm joking. Mr. President, Mr. I try to put a bunch of malarkey. Mr. President, what do you say? Yeah. I don't think so. I don't think it's totally malarkey. I think that there's some real concerns about where the money is. And we're going to start to get to the bottom of that because we're learning, of course, as I reported earlier in the week, <coughs> that subpoenas have gone out for the Biden family, for James, for Hunter, and then, um, well, for a guy named Rob Walker, who's one of the business partners. So all of this is coming into play and, and it's going to be a big deal.